How's it going everyone, Raw here, and today we're going to be looking at some Gears of War Tactics gameplay. Now this is the first actual initial gameplay that I've seen fully, um, which looks absolutely awesome. I've seen some IGN videos, I've seen some PC Gamer videos, um, and this is some also new gameplay that I've came across, and it looks awesome. So we're going to look over this, give my thoughts and opinions while we watch the gameplay, and just see what kind of movement to do, the way the game plays, the meta, and all that kind of cool stuff. And let you guys see as well so guys if you do enjoy these videos then hit that like button you want to see some more gears or tactics then make sure you leave a comment so i know and let's jump into it Alright, guys so the great thing about gears tactics is obviously it is like a, a turn-based mechanic it's a turn-based mechanic and obviously you get three actions per go so you you take the three shots and then you uh, obviously your opponent takes the three shots um, we're watching the enemy right now do what they're doing, they're moving positions and you can see from the red lines that are on this map, so that is like where your bullet can see those characters on the map um, and it comes up the percent rate and also the percentage uh, miss and also critical hit that you will hit them with um, that is the awesome thing about this which I do think is really good that they've actually put that details in so we know what we're going to be getting now as you can see there, the guy's taking a shot here, he might miss, he might not, but he did manage to hit him with a few shots there which was very nice. See he's got a 58 and a 40% chance of hitting these guys, and a 55% chance and 50% of missing, which as you saw there, he did miss. So that is a downfall, but at least you know you've got that chance of actually killing him or not. But I love this cinematics that we get to see of the Enemy guns, uh, certain characters when they shoot, I think it just puts that extra kind of, just that extra look that we don't really see in these types of games which I think is absolutely amazing. Really. Right that is him wiped out, beautiful. Now I believe you can also get more actions, the more points you get uh, for the characters and the more uh, you're doing well basically getting through the mission. Got another wave inbound. And they've just dropped in some more Lucas Golds, it looks like. And here comes more. The Ravens have dropped off more wretches. <laughs> awesome. Right. Bob, we've got the guy up in the top there on the watchtower. Uh, I think it's him with a long shot. So, or he's maybe got a machine gun. I can't quite see, but he can s he can see five players right now, and he can shoot all of them. Which is awesome. If he had a grenade, I'm sure he could throw a late grenade like there and back. destroy destroy the ball in one. Go ahead. So this guy's sitting in a very good position right now. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> There's a lot of strategic things going into this, obviously. I mean, the way you set up your characters on the map and the way you lay them out, depending on which position you want to be sitting in, is going to affect your next plays and also how the enemy takes their shot as well. Um, the guy there just used a thing called Overwatch now. Basically, what Overwatch means is anytime that the enemy takes a shot or a move in line of sight of this little thing here, he shoots them. As you just saw there, that little wretch tried to make a move and try to attack him, but because he had Overwatch on, and again he's Overwatch, it just shoots them when they get in this line of sight, which is awesome. It's a really, really a good move. Go time. Hit him hard. Oh, beautiful! It seems to me the wretch can be taken out in one hit. So, I mean, you shoot them up and then that's in dead, which is quite good. I mean, they're they're not strong in this game seem to be realistic and get wiped out quite quick. And as again, <laughs> this cinematic is just absolutely beautiful. You get to see the actual field of view from the actual gun and the character and just, it just really puts that extra little kind of bit onto the game, you know. Two partial hits. And I missed. Damn, bro. Damn. He, he, he didn't really get anything there. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people on this 
uh, game when it comes out. And it's, they're just going to be so smart and strategic on it. Yeah. I've Let's never played a game happen. like this since like Command and Conquer, um, and that was a while ago. So I, I can't even imagine myself playing a game like this again. But I am very excited to indulge into a new genre, and obviously Gears of War is my thing. I love Gears. Um, I want to play the campaign. I might do some streams in this. I'm here. Just chill out and just see what I can do. We will see. We will see. Yeah, there's so much things I know, uh, don't know about this game, but. I do know there's like also chests on this map that you can collect and right, upgrade your characters, your customization and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, I know there's obviously going to be loot crates and stuff which is okay, I mean this kind of games I, I reckon is okay for this. Um, if you want to spend money I reckon or if you don't then it's your choice but you can also get them by playing the game which is also awesome. Now he's moving this guy over to this wall, it looks like. Uh -huh. Getting ready for the next move. Okay, so he's put Overwatch on right now. As you can see, anybody who moves in line with him, uh, he will get done. Bad Rescue the prisoner. Um, in 13 or less turns, as you can see at the top there guys, that seems to be the actual uh, objective they're trying to do. Oh, what? Yo, that there is awesome. So, they've managed to save um, an actual civilian it looks like. Or maybe got one of their things back. And we've got to see an execution as well, guys. That is awesome as well. They used the chainsaw ability there to come behind someone and actually use an execution on them, which is obviously a one-shot execution. Beautiful. This is this is a lot to take in, guys. It's a there's a lot to take in, but I'm I'm reckoning obviously the more you play this, the more you learn and adapt and just find out the abilities and the moves and the sets. I'm sure everybody can get good at this game. And there has got that campaign, has got the cinematics to kind of keep you uh, zoned in and kind of have that feel of like it is a campaign, you know what I mean? But you're still having that kind of turn-based meta which is awesome. Reload. So he's set up his overwatch right now. Oh, he's close to one of our teams. Oh, he's getting one more shot. He's dead. Don't forget that kill timer. Gotta save everyone quickly. Yo, that guy needs to move. He needs to. He needs to move or something. He's healed once. Okay, he's moved. He's healed at once. Got your back, soldier. Now, since he's healed, he, he, I don't think he can heal again straight away because there's a timer on what you can use um, after one time of using it. So he's about to get killed. Um, he's shooting him up. Oh, execute! What a move! Yo, bro, he had, he's yep. got 27, 37 health right now. And the other guy had like 900 health. I honestly thought he was screwed, but that was a smart play. He moved away, he moved close to the character, shot him up, and then executed him. Wow. That is insane. Very well played from him there. Let's see what he's going to do now. He's recovering. He's healed up. And now it's the enemy's turn. Okay, they're coming in. They're coming in. They've got their overwatches out. Okay, nine turns remaining. So obviously to try an objective and get this complete, you've got to complete it in nine less turns, I think. Return to the APC. New objective. Okay, so you've got to get yourself right back over to there. And I'm sure there's going to be all locusts and all kinds of objectives to get past. Yeah. 
here we go. Whoa. They've dropped in more enemies. Got <laughs> our exit path. Clear them out. This is awesome, bro. This is awesome. So much detail has went into this. That's the thing. Like, the, this game has got so much power and so much authentic look to it. Um, it definitely does look like it's going to be um, a great game and I'll obviously have a good storyline to it as well at the same time with the cinematics and the stories and the characters. Um, we're going to get to see a lot of things. And because this is came out with the same kind of time as Gears 5, I reckon some of these characters are going to come to Gears 5 um, in some time. So that will be awesome if we see that. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. They're healed up. Oh, he's throwing a nade, I think. No, he's not. He's thinking of what to do. So all these guys can be shot once go. and wiped out because they're just wretches. So little sneaky buggers. That's what they are. <laughs> they're moving up. This is something else. I, I, I really, really do like this a lot. I want to know your opinions down below, guys. Like, let me know what you guys are thinking of this. The the look, Setting what they kind of have, the feel, and uh, what do you think about the abilities and different characters and the way it plays? Obviously, this is still um, not the full gameplay and campaign and stuff. This is only like a 10 minute video. But from what you see from here, let me know what you guys think. I do think this is going to be a fun game um, for everybody to put their hands on and enjoy. Bring them on. I'm ready for him. Enemy turn. Right. Boom! Destroyed. Battlefield cleared. Target's there you down. go. Moving now on. they just have to move the the carters closer to the APC, hey. and then it looks like that they've won. Not yet. There's more little things coming in. Just as you thought that they were finished, <laughs> um, there's more enemies being dropped in. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> About damn time. Advancing. Okay, wait a minute. If you just put all your characters on the circle, mm -hmm. does that mean you've won? Mm, we'll see here, guys. We'll, well see here. Good news is you're safe. And unfortunately, that is it, guys. So we don't get to see what the other cutscenes is. But obviously, guys, if you enjoyed this gameplay and you want to see more and you want me to upload, uh, campaign gameplay you want me to upload strategic videos and customizable things then let me know down below guys I'll like I like your thoughts and opinions down below and I would like to do this um, in my opinion I would like to jump into Gears Tactics while doing some Gears 5 and just have some fun with it so yeah guys thanks for watching hope you have a great day and I'll speak to you in the next video